Good morning, church, and welcome to Monday, April 20th, 2020. A beautiful spring day. I hope you're having a good morning this morning, too. Our devotion this week is from Ex Exhibiting Resurrection by Jane Herring, and it's in the Upper Room Disciplines and the first scripture is from Acts 2, 14a and 36. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Therefore, let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God had made him both Lord and Messiah, this Jesus, whom you crucified the word of god for the people of god thanks be to god acts 2 finds us and all the believers gathered together in one place and suddenly a noise comes from the sky a great wind fills the house and tongues of fire appear above the head of each person assembled the promised gift has arrived. Everyone there is filled with the Holy Spirit. They can see and feel that something is amazing is happening. But onlookers accuse them of being drunk. In today's verses, Peter stands up to speak into the excitement and confusion of the moment. He proclaims the one of our the core of our faith as Christ followers, saying that Jesus Christ crucified is, in fact, the risen Lord, the Messiah. Peter highlights the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Jesus is a disruptor. To those who want to maintain the status quo, he's a troublemaker. He's a threat to people who are more interested in earthly power than in God's kingdom. He's a cruci crucified accordingly as a threat to the state. It's easy to think about those ancient rulers and their need for power that led them to crucify Jesus, but what about our own need to feel power that leads us to withhold pa parts of our si ourselves, parts of our lives from Jesus? Whatever we withhold from the crucifixion, we also withhold from the resurrection. To accept Jesus Christ as the Messiah is to welcome disruption in all parts of our lives. Just think about this coronavirus and the disruptions that we've experienced to let our own need for control be crucified so that we can make room for the gifts of the Holy Spirit and live as people who exhibit resurrection. To accept Jesus Christ is to grapple with God who is crucified, rises again, and sends the Holy Spirit to be with us. Let us pray. O oh Lord, help us not to shy away from you. Show us how to die to anything that holds us back from you and make real to us the resurrection that comes from giving our lives to you. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Give praise to his name. Spread the good news o'er all the earth. Jesus has died and has risen. Alleluia. Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. Be blessed this day.